Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, Biffy Clyro up once again. This is going to be the third one for the evening. This is Separate Missions. It's the next track after Denier, which I just got done reacting to. And uh, it is a request. This one's going to be for Chris. So um, yeah, this one is 5 minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, just looking at that compared to Denier being just under 3 minutes, um, I feel like this one's going to have a little bit more of a uh, epic feel to it, possibly. I'm not sure, but um, it's another visualizer, so it's just the, you know, studio track here. But um, I looked at the lyrics here. This one, while, you know, hearing Denier was about a relationship, this one also seems to be about a, a relationship. It's, I mean, you know, the message of this is right in the title as well. Separate missions. Uh, two people were together. They parted ways. They had different paths. Uh, the only thing that uh, kind of stands out to me in this one is there's a line that he says several times in this. Uh, well, two different versions of it. He says, you won't diminish anymore. And then he also says, you'll never diminish anymore. So that almost sounds like super dark to me. Like, you know, like he did something to the other person. Like, yeah, you know, I won't have to worry about you diminishing me anymore. I don't know. I could be wrong, but, uh, there's definitely some pain and hurt in these lyrics. And, uh, it's just one of those things that comes with, uh, you know, when at the end of a relationship that ends in this fashion, if it's not amicable, yeah, you know, I get it. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in, guys. Biffy Clyro, Separate Missions. Here we go. Wow, this is different. That sounds like with that feedback that's coming through that makes me I thought it was a keyboard at first but with that feedback it feels like it's a guitar God these guys are so unique and awesome man That's so cool. Okay, commentary stop, hold on. This is so different compared to all the other songs I've heard from them. This one is pretty experimental sounding and um, I love it. This is like, I, I don't even know how to describe this compared to their other music. This this song kind of stands on its own here, but um, super heavy on the, the percussion, which is kind of funny because that was one of my standout things after hearing Denier earlier. Uh, a lot of stuff happening on percussion. Same here. And um, kind of a little tricky beat, at least for someone hearing it for the first time. If anyone else out there has heard this song a crap load of times, you're probably like, what are you talking about? I get the beat. But hearing it for the first time, it, it's a bit tricky. Um, this is, uh, you know, one of the softer songs I've heard from them. 
The only thing I can compare this to, and it's not even really close, is the beginning of Unknown Mail 01 and how that one kind of started started off soft. But um, yeah, I can't quite place, you know, exactly what kind of genre I would describe what this sounds like. Yes, I, you know, falling under the, the tree of rock, but this, this is, it's weird in, in the best way, weird. But um, another awesome song, it really, you, you, for me, just going off instinct feelings of what this music makes me feel, I feel like just sinking into it with that rolling bass line. And um, yeah, the that, either, whether it's a keyboard or a guitar, that da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da, that thing, um, that it just sounds very atmospheric and dreamlike. It makes this entire song actually feel uh, very dreamlike. So um, yeah, which is unexpected based on the lyrics I saw. You know, it sounds like there's a lot of hurt and anger, but it doesn't come off that way, really. So anyway, let's keep going. Here we go. Can you see the shape of the words that we spoke? It came from my heart, but they stuck in my throat and it hurts. More pop influence on this one for sure. This part of the song, you just want to sink into the music. Ah, those drums sound so good. See clearer now you chose to leave. Oh. There's no return. By the way, these drums on this verse sound a little bit different. They sound tighter uh, compared to the first verse. Unless I'm tripping. You know, again, I'm hearing this all for the first time, but this verse, the drums sound a little bit more structured. We can see clearer now you chose to leave. I just love the staccato part and how his vocals match up with the guitar. You hear that? It's so dreamlike and so atmospheric. The song's like really wide open. If you listen closely, he's going up on that hi hat bike there too. such a unique band. They don't have any cookie cutter parts of their songs. Drums, man. I love this chorus with a heavier guitar going here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh man! Wow! God, these guys are so good. I feel like I've said that after 
every song has ended that I've reacted to from them. Wow, man. Oh my god. No cookie cutter songs, man. Biffy Clyro, separate mission. Wow. So far, every song I've heard has been a banger. Um, I can't wait to get through the rest of this album still. But I have this feeling that based on this is the fourth song now that I've heard from them. Um, you know, it kind of makes me think there are other bands, not even necessarily hard rock bands that are in the same space as them that that will write whatever, two or three good songs. And then I don't know. I don't know if they feel like well, we can't keep, you know, we're going to run out of ideas. We can't make every song awesome uh, and stand out. You know, we got to space it out. But I don't get the feeling that Biffy Clyro does that. This is, like I said several times already, there's none of the parts of the, their music is cookie cutter. It's unique. It's cr super creative. And um, I did see, I'm not sure how many people said this, but in my first reaction to them, which was for Unknown Male Zero One, some people were saying like, <clears throat> yeah, they're Europe's uh, or Scotland or Europe's um, kind of like Foo Fighters. I, while I get the comparison, and by the way, I love Foo Fighters, okay? But four songs in, these guys, don't come after me, guys. These guys are more creative than Foo Fighters. And I love Foo Fighters. I grew up uh, in, you know, elementary, junior high. Uh, high school listening to Nirvana and Foo Fighters. So in grunge. So, you know, yes, I I like Foo Fighters a lot, but these guys, I you know, that comparison, it it's not one one to one, I don't think. Oh man, I I haven't been this excited about a rock group um for a while. And so far from what I've heard from this album super dynamic guys. And you know, I, maybe if I listen to the earlier stuff um, because I know they've been around for a long time. It, it, it'll be a little bit different. Maybe it'll be a less uh, what this is because, you know, this is kind of the culmin. This album in 2021 is kind of the culmination of years of expertise in their field. And, you know, so at least from what I'm hearing on this album, this is like top of the game stuff. This is amazing, man. Um, to speak more specifically about this song, it's so different than all the other ones I've heard. This one has a different feel. And after reading the lyrics, I don't, it's not what I expected, you know, from hearing this music. This one was very calm, dreamy, and I didn't get that. I, after hearing the song, the music, I, it's weird because I don't see how those words fit in. The feeling I got from reading the lyrics, how it fit into the music, not to take anything away from them. You know, that's not like a criticism. It's just me personally uh, not... I guess I need to see, I need to see their math, how they got to the answer of this. You know what I mean? Just to understand it. But the song itself sounds amazing. It sounded great. They even turned it into a more of a hard rock thing there in the end. The last chorus that we heard for this song, where the guitar had a full threaded presence there, not necessarily like full distortion, but that guitar was heavily present in that last chorus. That sounded amazing. Uh, the bridge of this song, once again, it, it was creative, different. Um really changed the direction that this song was going. And yeah, excellent song, man. And, you know, definitely a pop influence on this, which I think it became most obvious to me in the choruses, just hearing kind of like the, the style of the hi-hat work. For some reason, that part just reminds, and the melodies of the chorus uh, kind of brings forth a, a kind of pop influence. But yeah, another excellent song. And I just, I can't say enough good things about these guys, man. They're so good. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up, but definitely the, the most different feel I've ever gotten from a Biffy Clyro song is this one. And so far, the four songs I've heard from this, n none of these songs are ones you'd skip through. These, these are all awesome, which by the way, it's Unknown Male Zero One, uh, Hunger in Your Haunt, Denier, and then this one, Separate Missions. Anyway, awesome. If you're still here, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day. Uh, thanks for rocking out with me. And uh, if you have any other Biffy Clyro songs or any other artists you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.